we got the new two worlds and then I guess the last one and the game's done. If this is the end of the, if that would be the end of the game, that would be really weak. But then again, maybe we have to revisit a lot of places. I don't know. Musketeers, what's this? A symphony of sorcery, that actually might be pretty cool. Uh, seven worlds total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Motherfucker, yeah, it's a short game. Short ass punk ass DS game. Don't care to expect to sit down with a handheld game for sixty hours deep on Yeah, I check that. We can charge for sixty dollars and I'll have a good. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll do musketeers first. That dog cat weird thing. I got him leveled up. And uh, he does this combined ability where he becomes the side of the screen, just jumps up and down, and everything just fucking dies. I was a little treat me today, man. Had work today. Uh, apparently, we didn't do any training. The only thing we did was that she called me the other dude for, uh, you know, we worked some receiving or whatever. The other, not the other people, but called us. And uh, she put us to work. Apparently, Lowe's and, I guess, you know, companies like that that do hardware where they donate shit to the schools, which is cool. So we went to the school and we built, uh, built up their garden or whatever. We built them shelves and Sheds and stuff like that, and all got all types of tools to get to the garden and stuff. Here we go. Pretty cool. Built the shed myself. Was all the instructions very easy. Yeah. Had somebody to help me. Most of the whole damn stuff. And I like, hold this here. Hold this here. I'll drill this. I need to drill. I need this. The thing I realized, man. Uh, no offense to teachers out there, but um, if you knew we were coming. You figure that a day before, I guess it's not just a teacher, but you know, you figure people have been out the day before, survey the area, look up what the area was, what they plan to do, get a plan going, and then coming from weird angles. It's very inefficient. Other than that, we still got the job done. It's inefficient. That's just maybe the perfectionist in me. Where are you going? Stand back. Here goes nothing. Hey, Goofy! That's the wrong way! All right, I'll show you what a musketeer can do. <laughs> King Mickey, His are you okay? Huh? Have we met before? What? Wait, is this like what happened with Jiminy and Tron? But I'm not in Disney Castle. And that world isn't one of the ones that's asleep. I don't get it. <laughs> you okay? Tells a What's wrong? Once again. Oh, um, I was wondering that. where I was. Mm -hmm. Where'd you get that key? Uh, I don't think that's a copyright. This? Lock. It's a key. I think she's trying to stray uh -huh. from her you PlayStation. From See, world, the PlayStation right? has that shit huh? built in. Uh, There's no yeah. way to stop you from streaming it. Mickey. Through, I'm working on a like problem. A, uh, That's why I'm in this world, card being a musketeer. To, um, so, so yes. Am I in a world the king visited that I don't know about? Do I want a, a full honor invite code? Sleep somewhere? What is that? Is that the weird fighting game? You see what game? He's off with like Vikings or Look something. Look out! Honor invite. You got the code, Savis. I'm Sora. Let me handle. Yeah, just I don't know if I wanna. <laughs> I don't wanna play it. 
it's I think it's multi it's is it multiplayer only? Well, back in uh, Final Fantasy XI, the Thief type and the Ninja type didn't do the most damage, but where they excelled at was basically mitigating and helping establish additional threat onto the tank and doing other things like that. Nah, we're we not talking about Thieves and Ninjas. we talking about Assassins. Assassins are supposed to be hey, efficient. I'm, I'm sure I'm an assassin one. somebody and I don't Some do damage. Some musketeer I turned out to be. I have no idea. <laughs> Where's the so the, van, the vanguard Duty. sounds like your main DPS. Yeah, they call them well balanced, have excellent offense oh, and ow. defense. They seem like the 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 the, the in between. Really? Then they have a you heavy class apparently them? that's actually the tank, and that still sounds fucking stupid to me. I guess the vanguard class is supposed to be like great or some shit. Uh, hey Donald. What else they have? The last what? class known as hybrid set in combination of three types. Can't go on. Why know skills. you from somewhere? Blah blah blah. blah, blah. Rochi, Kensei, Berserker, no. Raider, Warden, Conqueror. Nice to meet you. Say, fellas, this is Sora. And it doesn't matter when we met. Once we make a friend, we're friends for life. I don't actually think... I mean, if we're going to pit these three against each other, wouldn't the Knights always win? Because they were plate? No. Uh, it depends on if it's trying to go for a realistic theme. Donald? Goofy? I mean, realistically, wouldn't they always win because of plate? Hey, wait. Mm, but it depends, like, when you apply, like, magic and everything else into it. But you're not a musketeer. Well, there's no magic this in this game. What game like, is it? All the more reason the, I should the, the help. The Honor game is, when the going it's gets basically tough, samurai the tough versus viking friends. versus knights. Hmm. Oh. Uh, you would think that the knights would well, be... Well, it depends yeah. on what type of armor they have, because, like, I know, like, the biggest thing should in old-timey wars is, like, certain weapons the were designed thing? to get past certain armors, and certain armors did better versus, like, slashing weapons where they were weak against piercing weapons, ah. and other armors were better versus oh. piercing <laughs> weapons. And so, that's the only thing I can find. one for all! Um, Full-plated motherfucking knights. Like, actual knights, especially uh, 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 mounted knights. Will simply have superiority towards like samurai didn't even really wear armor. They tended to have like what padding or some shit like that. Yeah, like, that was their uniform. Vikings would maybe wear chainmail in some cases, but not realistically. A lot of the motherfuckers were like berserkers and shit like that. They were still effective, but I mean, mostly as raiders, like taking people by surprise and shit like that. They in a, in a all out, I think, straight up organized battle. I do not think a Battalion of Vikings could be the battalion of, of fucking knights. Let's guess the guys how they fight and engage. Do they engage in their own territories or whatever? Is it guerrilla warfare attacks or are you just marching them into each other? Uh, and is this shit is supposed to be? It's a straight up hack and slash. Ultimately, uh, if a knight is fully played it, and you're playing it and you're trying to be accurate, the knight should almost always win. The only part can I, I can see get is, you out to just play it and see what's up. The only part I can see is is that that maybe they make the knights really slow or something like that. But yeah, yeah. who wore armor, Shinzu? 
Samurai didn't really have like the like the type of armor that that a uh, fucking paladin would have. And then as far as this game is concerned, there's there's no bullets. You might have arrows and things like that, but there's no guns involved. basically rocks, right? They were rocks propelled by gunpowder. Because the motherfucker realized that uh, I could just throw this rock at this person and, and maybe win. You know what I'm saying? If this rock from a distance does, much, does more damage. had them, England was probably the most successful empire in the history of the world. In terms of... Wait a minute, wasn't that a... Uh... I know Khan was up there. Hmm? Also, uh, Napoleon did pretty well. Uh, also Rome, right? About, uh, actual globalization. Especially considering how tiny England is as a fucking country. Uh, for them to spread around, because they think of today, like how, like the the overall influence you've got Canada, Australia. Uh, at one point, China was un, under British imperial rule, or at least part of it was. Uh, they had India. The only uh, thing like, I'll like, say like, weird is is everywhere. if you look at the in terms of world powers, like China's number two. Yeah, at this point, but I'm talking about history, bro. Like legit history, China. But if China we went back deeper, and if we went back, but how far are we gonna go back in history, though? Because if we go uh, back really far, the among the times of like the Egyptians and like all that stuff before Christ, then on a global level, those empires did not reach the size of the British Empire. You mean the British Empire all the way back during the times of Egypt? British Empire throughout time. Since the British Empire was became a thing, e Egyptians they had kingdoms. They didn't have empires. They didn't expand. They didn't do that. Okay. Like, empires didn't really become a thing until like I don't think like China wasn't really about imperialism. You had a couple of conquerors uh, from there, but the, the, the Chinese weren't really about imperialism. Imperialism was sort of a French, Spanish, and English thing. Hmm. Japan's a tiny island. <laughs> like, I don't think the Japanese Empire was all that successful. I think it was the Chinese that had dynasties. I mean, the Chinese also had emperors. I mean, technically they had uh, empires as well. I'm not sure if Japan ever had an emperor, probably. No, at one point Japan had, uh, like in feudal Japan, they had feudal lords.
I swore like the Roman Empire got really ridiculous. Empire was pretty large, pretty good. And they even went uh, against the Persians was... and they were able to conquer the Persians, which outnumbered them greatly. This was a this was a time. Actually, they beat out the Persians. I mean, out, they got fucked and shitted on during like. Well, I don't know if the Persians outnumbered the Romans. The actual, like, the entire Roman Empire. Mm -hmm. I'd have to look it up more information. I want to say about stuff I'm not 100% sure about, but all I remember is like, Rome was like fucking crazy. At least, yeah, Rome, Rome spread. Rome had a pretty large empire, but. Again, they didn't necessarily leave Europe. You know what I mean? Like, the Roman Empire basically covered what would today be what? Like Italy, maybe Spain and France, like all of those have uh, had that had that influence and whatnot. Derp Isaac's creeping me out as well as that's cool. How can they be how can they see? I have no idea, sir. I wow, he got five hundred points. I think the concept of uh of imperialization and whatnot really sort of expanded. I'm not sure what century it was, but uh I guess maybe around the fifteenth century or something like that when when they started to send out uh, one of the countries that sent out exploring parties. Uh, basically, when they when they started to to to, to go west, and figure out like ah, when they stopped believing <laughs> that like I guess the world was uh, was was flat and that you would drop off the edge of the world if you went too far west. Find these new land masses and. Immediately, there was a race that began uh, between the the three, I guess, major empires of the time, the Spanish, French, and the English, uh, to see who could conquer or who would go and, and claim these areas and whatnot. And lots of ton, tons of wars, fought over the shit, negotiations, etc., etc. The Spanish Empire was actually pretty. Uh, Pretty large. You can still see their influence in, in like uh, what Central America, Latin America, South America. I think the craziest thing though is uh, since the U.S. is signing the ordeal to get out of the TPP, I don't really don't think that's the smartest thing. But I think China is going to be in a good position depending on how it goes to set them as uh, basically the world leader and everything, pretty much depending on how it goes. We'll have to wait and see. China's been uh, doing very well. We'll see how this shit goes. Trump's been signed. Plus, they just he signed the executive order to start building the wall. He said the American people will pay their taxes towards the wall, and then he'll get Mexico to reimburse them later. Well, we all know that that second part's not going to happen. We, anybody who's not a fucking idiot knew that the American taxpayers were going to, if you were going to build something like that, you knew it was going to come from taxpayer. And yeah, I don't then know where. he did say he wanted to invest in infrastructure, but when they try, Democrats try to pass a bill that would be like, he said he wants to put a $1 million, trillion dollars back into infrastructure, building roads, creating jobs, stuff like that, right? Um, he opted out of saying no to that. And uh, they, the Republicans shot that down, so the infrastructure promise is not happening. So we won't be getting, they won't be investing back into the infrastructure. And then with Obamacare, they said they got a plan, but that looks like if they repeal it and they don't replace it or they try to do something with the budget, I forgot one of the Republican senators said it was said they'll increase the debt by, I think it's either, it's either 10 billion or 10 trillion. That's a significant different number. I don't think it's 10 trillion, I think it's just 10 billion. But it's just basically no matter what, it's like, you're basically, it's not true, true conservative uh, Republicanism, where you're trying to conserve money and not spend things ridiculously, you know, for things that people don't want. It's very awkward. Um, but I mean, that's just how society works, and then I can do about it. What do I need? Oh, let me see what items I need to unlock this person. Ability link. 
377. I need paint yellow gun times 30. I only have one. And uh, paint blue times 20. I have nine. All I know is I can't be in politics. I'm too nice. I'd have to sell my soul. Yeah, uh, command magic item action commands, dream pieces, and recipes, confetti, shield block, balloon, paint yellow is 10 money. Uh, let me make sure before I buy this shit. Do I have anything to sell? I don't know, man. So it's crack if you want to. Yeah, sometimes you gotta sell crack. It's okay with that. I'm okay with that. <laughs> okay, I got two fires. Don't need two fires. I don't know why you get multiple fires. Cure, cura. Don't need two curas. Got Kiraga now. That's great. Zero gravity. Zero gravity. Zero, oh, gravity draw, or whatever. Okay, yeah. Uh, I guess it's okay to have blue ones. Blue one. Okay, I got some money. Let me check my spirits again. Okay. Uh, paint gun blue. Paint gun yellow, so I need blue and yellow. Oh, uh, let me actually check to see how much I need. Uh, paint gun. Uh, hot pink, sir. Hot hey, pink. man, there might be one, and it might be expensive. <laughs> so I need 11 of the blue, and I need 29 of the yellow. 11 blue, 29 yellow. Well, we're gonna do the blue ones first. sure how people can I understand like doing your own drawings so I'm not sure how that works uh, I, I, you know, it's probably too small for the copyright holder to go after like uh, Square Enix and Disney but you know like all this fan art right when people put fan art on t-shirts and then sell them yeah you just pretty god you don't get big enough and you get fucked because if they come after right. they won't get that ass they're just playing gamble I don't know if you know this one guy, he's really anti-feminist, anti-this, he's more of a guy who leans towards the right. He was a guy, uh, I forgot what his channel was, somebody in the stream might know, but he's like bear something, right? His fucking icon was a bear, right? And he made all this merchandise with bear stuff, t-shirts, shirts, hats, everything, his whole channel, everything involving this bear. And you look at the original drawing of the artist, right? And the, and the only difference he made like was like maybe like in the collar of the fur, he changed like it from like a straight line to like a zigzag. You know, something like where you could honestly look, it's 90% plagiarized. Then the artist went after him, his YouTube channel. Went after all his money that he had on the shirts, the mugs, the coffee, everything. Also copyright stricken him, basically to the point where the channel had to shut down. It was, it was over, so I don't, he's probably still gonna get sued for that. He made another channel, he got back up to 300,000 subscribers, but he was trying to defend himself and saying this was wrong, it's, I didn't know, and it's like one people, and a lot of his people, even his fans, well, his fans, long story short, checked him. He said, nah, dog, this is, you You plagiarized their content and you sold it. You, you're an idiot. Like, if it would have been one thing is if he just would have used, like, the picture in his videos, right? Well, he already used the picture in the bear in his videos. And, and that would, I guess he was fucked either way. But even on the thumbnail, he used that. Maybe if it was just a thumbnail, he could remove the thumbnails. But he, he fucked himself. He made this whole channel with 300,000 subscribers. All these videos, all this merchandise with this copyrighted logo that was not his. I don't know his name. Maybe somebody on the YouTube channel can tell me. I don't know when this goes on the video, but like, it's just people are stupid. I, I didn't know. I didn't know. I need two more blue. Yeah, basically, like, yeah, it's okay not to know. It's like it's just it's okay not to know. It's okay to exercise your 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 your, your First Amendment right. Uh, but if you want to do that, like it was a judge in Jacksonville, Florida, he told one person to go back to Africa, get on the ship and go back to Africa, he no longer works there anymore. And it's just like, if people, I, I don't know if I told you this yesterday, a guy at the bar, uh, he made some comments towards the women's anti-pro, the, the women that were protesting against Donald Trump, you know, 
he said some comments like that, then people flamed him and decided to boycott his bar, and he's in California, which is known as a very liberal democratic state, right? Then on top of that, they linked to his previous Facebook posts and talking about Muslims, gay, everything basically. And then now he said, well, I don't really feel like I have a freedom of speech. It seems like only gay people have a right to freedom of speech. He said that in previous things. It's like, no, you have a freedom of speech, but you can't say everything you want to expect that people, just as like you have the freedom of speech and like you're, you're avoiding persecution from the government, you're going to still lose business. Business has nothing to do with that. If you say some off-the-wall shit and you're surrounded by, like, a lot of... If I was, like, a liberal and I had a liberal bar and I put that and I was in the middle of conservative central with a lot of red states or something like that and they boycotted me because I said some very liberal shit, I understand that. That's why in business, I think you said this before, Save this and other people, the only racism, it was you or... I forgot, I think I was, it's a common saying, but you might have just mentioned it, but like the only race you should see is green. You shouldn't care about anything else as a business owner. Yeah. But that's, that's just the uh, world we live in, you know? People want to say what they want and also get protection from people boycotting their businesses, but that's their right, just like it's your right to say whatever you want. If people don't like it, they don't have to mess with you, and that's just how the world works. I got the items open, Savius. Peeps the who, which is very creepy for an owl, dude. That's like a creeper. Dude's looking at your girl. Uh, yeah. Oh, I need a little bit more support boost. So after him. And the crazy thing is, when you clear them, it says the 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 whole board cleared. But the weird thing is, some of them have hidden parts on the board that doesn't happen until they change their class. So sometimes when you feed them, oh, he decided to set it as a sidekick. He wants to become a saboteur. And like, what's a saboteur? Now he's gonna start debuffing. It's like they have all these different classes for these crazy ass monsters. You should refine that a little bit more. But I mean, I guess it's fine. It's enjoyable. I'm proud of that snail, but I need more skills, so I gotta swap him out. I got one more for him. What about Derpo? Let me see what Derpo needs. Uh, Derpo got everything? Yeah, Derpo got everything, but there's still something hidden. There's like a hidden path or something. Well, Derpo, you're gonna have to go away, because I trained you now. You've been cool for a while. I'm sick of having his little tongue stick out and his crazy ass eyes looking at me. And when you summon him, all he does is just hop around and smash it, which it does work pretty effectively. But when the target's already smashed, you can't re-smash them. Alright. I'll put him there. I got everything from the sheep, I think, right? I'm pretty sure I finished the whole sheep. Oh yeah, I need to finish the sheep. Mm. It depends on how you judge it, I guess. According to this, like if you base it off of like how long they were in power, uh, I found a list that says the Roman Empire lasted uh, 2,200 years, 2,214 years. That's pretty uh, that's a pretty good run. <laughs> That's yeah, the only right. thing I say about the Roman thing, they're cool and all, but I, they, they, those motherfuckers are gone. Well, no, I guess you think about the Vatican and Catholic. For a long right? time, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, they still in power in that sense. When you think about the Pope, the Pope, Roman Channel all his energy, the Pope, Pope is pretty huge. What is the most... Random is tripping out right now. <laughs> this is why you can't have power. You don't know how to be uh handle yourself in a professional yeah. manner okay so i don't need to have hips to peek exactly interesting you know that is really fucking funny uh 1.2 billion native speakers uh what is the most widely spoken language in the world you would think that it'd be english but it's not what is it uh, Chinese. I think that's because of how many Chinese there are. It's just Mandarin. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of them. Uh, Good people, though. They make delicious food and have a very civilized culture. And I like how they oh, yeah. bootleg and plagiarize everybody because then it forces evolution. According to, let's see, list of languages by number of native speak. Um, English is only third behind Spanish and Mandarin. Which is kind of funny, actually, because you hear people uh, <laughs> tell tell like like Spanish speakers to learn English. It's like you should probably learn Spanish. <laughs> <'Cause it's laughs> I 
think though, um, maybe if you broke it down by places, um, mm -hmm. English may be spoken in more places than Spanish, mostly because pretty much every other country around the world actually teaches English in their schools to their kids. Uh, and I think it's a mandatory class while here in America, um, other languages are like electives. talking Spanish people from Spain or just generally Spanish speaking? Oh, I got Thunder Armor. Though. I don't like Thunder. Thunder in this game just doesn't hit the way I want it to. It's very awkward. The British Empire um, at its largest size apparently covered uh, more than 13 million square miles. It says it was approximately a quarter of the, uh, the Earth's total land area yeah, controlled more than successful canals. Yeah, no, uh, thank you. half a billion okay. people, a quarter of the world's population. No such thing uh, anymore, though. When you just look at what they used to be, how big, it's like, those motherfuckers crash, man, like, ah. Well, it also requires a, a, a sort of a conqueror's mind, you know? A dream eater! Take care, digital, be safe, buddy. There's a lot of blood shit and stuff to, uh, to spread that shit around. To be fair, most people only care about the sun. Mm -hmm. uh, the average person, the carriage, no matter what. people will. Uh, they only really concern themselves with personal interests. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's 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 natural. It's a natural human thing. Um, okay. You would think, uh, what is it like, uh, passion? Yeah. I guess for others, you would okay. think that that would be a scene of something yeah. that happens. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. it's not. Like self-preservation is that like it's, it's, it's instinctive. Yeah. That shit's ingrained in your DNA. Yeah. Okay. So you gotta yeah, yeah. come for self-interest yeah. first okay. in most cases, and then you'll yeah. maybe try to worry about Back somebody off. else's, yeah. but a lot of times you're gonna be saying, well, shit, I'm not wrong. Back so off, right. Come to the wrong Yeah, man, yeah. we going through it together. Yeah. Uh, nigga, I don't remember you okay. being in the trenches. Yeah. <laughs> uh, when I was all fucked up yeah. two years ago. Yeah. Hey. Uh, so hey. How about you go fuck yourself? Cause I'm doing all right. That sounds like a problem. Yeah. Am I supposed to reflect this? Yeah. Hey. Possibly if you're supposed to do hey. protect the uh, hey. the, the, the stupid hey. Cause I can't auto. So I think I'm supposed to deflect it, and I'm not. Oh, okay. Use the, the block to deflect the fire damage. Well, too late now. Queen Minnie's dead. At least now I know, right? Deflect the fire with square. I'm hoping now it comes the National Guard to fix, to fix this shit here. Nah, I think if, if they call the National Guard to Chicago, that'd be martial law. People would flip the shit. Yeah, but I don't like. There, there are certain yeah. parts of it, you know all they're going to do is come in and lock down the yeah. urban. They did, a, yeah. they did, a, they did in yeah. Ferguson. Yeah. There was a yeah. martial law in Ferguson, yeah. but they brought in a yeah. national guard. And, yeah. uh, they had that area sort of on lockdown. They had set up at like this... There's, there's a... It's not a mall, per se. It kind of is, not a large mall. Uh, but in there, uh, there's like a... A few little, little shops and shit like that. There was a Target, the Target closed down. Uh, and there was a grocery store as well. That was the one there. Uh, they had all of those guys set up there and whatnot. Saw the soldiers being busted and everything. Uh, yeah, just, just had the area on lock, especially towards uh, certain nights. And I think that they had issued a, a curfew for it also. But, yeah, right, right. And it was in that particular yeah, area because yeah. they were trying to contain it. So really what yeah. they're going to do, uh, if they bring it in, they're not going to try to fix it. They're going to cage the urban areas in, uh, and the black people are going to be caged in. Like the zoo, it doesn't matter if they happen to be the ones.
instead of doing the shoot or anything. They're not gonna try to fix shit. They're not gonna try to do it. Oh, of course not. Lock you off and keep that shit from potentially spreading shit. Um, it's good and decent non poor people. That's, that's pretty much it. It's like, yeah, you guys can fuck up your own neighborhood, but uh, when you start going out, the shit's gonna spread to other parts of well, it's like people are trying to start programs for, like, you know, people who are addicted to heroin, not because it was affecting the poor and lower class, now it's affecting middle to higher class, because they're addicted to opiates, they're addicted to the pain medication, and they can't afford it anymore, right? Or they get restricted, so they have to get the street stuff to simulate the opiate addiction. You know? Just how the world works. Unfortunately. I don't know, man, if they did martial law in Chicago, I wonder how it would happen. Huh? We'll be lightning your load. I wonder if they would just start getting it would slowly stop like the violence or get worse or I don't know. Maybe they'd just be like fucking shoot everybody. I don't know. I don't understand why and the sad thing is that all came out from a tweet. It wasn't like a press conference when he was discussing like the situations with like what's going on, describing numbers and facts and figures. It was just uh basically Your done over a tweet, uh, which is really sad, but Mickey. that's just how the world works. Sora! Up, I'm sorry. Yeah, they got away with the princess. Don't be. It's not your yeah. fault. As long as we all stick Mickey, together, what? I this know we can get the princess back. Weird way to greet people. Oh, nigga, what are right. friends? As a team, Hello, we friends. can do anything. Yeah. How are you today? Come on. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hopefully you're doing fantastic. <laughs> hey, Nick, this was hot. <laughs> there, you, there you go. Hey, look, hey. Nicky. There's the there carriage. <laughs> What's poppin', B? <laughs> no, no, no. I had to build a shed today, Randa, for the no, kids today. So That's what I had to do. Hey, that nigga, 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 that's creepy. Hey, hey, if I'd have did that, if I'd have did that around the children today, they would have put me off the jail, motherfucker. <laughs> I had my StarCraft shirt under my sweater. One kid was like, "Oh, you you play StarCraft?" I'm like, "Yeah." Hey, Where should play Terran? What, you what rank were you, someone? Grandmaster? Really? Man, I thought my dad was good. What your dad? And he's like, I'm like, he's platinum. I'm like, yeah, that's that's not really good. He's like, I know. <laughs> I was like, that's it. Hey, man. All I do is build shit, Don't hate on my style. Head to the top of the tower, rescue the princess. Why do I gotta do all this shit? I was gonna say, why the fuck is Goofy dressed like a musketeer? This is in the past time. Yeah. Uh, when Mickey before he became King Mickey, and he's like, oh, I wonder what that is. And as soon as Gani Mickey uh, left, Sora's like, oh, this is a cliche. Shh, I know what it is, nigga. I'm on the cover. So this that you know that Mickey shit, like him traveling through times. He might be evil. Who knows? I told you. Oh, this this is dream drop. Was on the, the, the DS or the 3DS, and it's just like DS, not sure. Uh, I saw one of the games, a fucking phenomenon. That's the Kingdom Hearts 3 one that's based off the engine yes. when you play Aqua, yep. but it's very short. It's not even really, I think it's you should call it a game. Oh, it's, oh, that was, wait, that's Kingdom Hearts 3? No, that's the engine of Kingdom Hearts 3. Right. That happens in between, I do believe. 2.5, which is the game I'm playing, and 3, which has yet to be released. They also have, I think, a movie that happens between the prequel and 1. That shit, but that shit looks so No, 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 no. That movie that's on there, the yep. one that you're playing, Debo, mm -hmm. that is, that is the prequel. That is the oldest story on record. Oh, okay, so... Then the storyline happens basically before the prequel, and then basically Aqua's game takes place between the prequel and one, and then later on finishes up between 2.5 and 3, then. Uh, Birth by Sleep, I think, happens chronologically before the uh, And I think that was Aqua's game, but the part of that Aqua is in on this one actually happens between 2 and 3. So those, uh, those events that you you go through. Uh, so the one with Aqua happens between two and three. Yeah, it's, okay. it's, it's like it picks up immediately after Birth by Sleep. Yeah. They say that it's gonna directly Wait a minute, but if it, but, three if three. but if it takes place after Birth by Sleep, that would mean Birth by Sleep is the prequel. That means it takes place after the prequel, which means it takes place before one. No, it, it doesn't take place like after, right after in a sense, but 
it, it picks up where Bird's Box Loop left off, like at the end of that game. Uh, the opening scene from this one is basically where Aqua was at the end of that one, like standing in front of the castle or some shit in the dark. Or something like that. That's confusing as shit. Oh, fire Ada! Yeah, well, fuck you, Fyra. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. We on that Fire Ega shit. Peasant magic. See, nah, I'm looking at it again, actually. No, you're right. Uh, that still, it does take place right after Birth by Sleep, which means that it's it's still before the events of Kingdom Hearts 1. Yeah, it like comes that, before Kingdom Hearts somehow. 1, and then you play partially through that, and then it picks back up after 2.5, yeah. right before 3. It's real a clusterfuck. Right, right. That's what I was say. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe there's a time. And then the movie, like you said, takes place before the prequel, so I need to watch that. It, yeah, the movie is is the oldest thing, so that happened. Kingdom Hearts X. Fuck this dude with all these storylines, man. I'm getting tired of his shit. It makes sense, though. If you actually take the time to read it, I told you the only thing you need to know is the story is there, because that is what Kingdom Hearts is. Oh yeah, but like, you know, when they had, like, when they had, like, okay, like, other ones, okay, I can understand, right? But then, like, recoded. Right? Where you go through Jimmy's neurons, journals and you go through all that shit where you're playing the same worlds just to see like there's like a couple hidden meanings in the journal with the secret ending and then 350 whatever over two days which does expand more stories about Roxas or whatever his name is but it's just I mean because basically he's a nobody right? It's no, Roxas, yeah, Roxas the sword is nobody. Yeah it's just sometimes I wonder. But at the end of the day they descend from Ventus. Ventus was a North Apprentice. How long is the uh, Ventus, uh, or Three hours. Vanitas from Ventus's darkness and his heart. It's, it's he extracted the darkness from Ventus's heart, created Vanitas. Uh, his plan was to have a being of pure light and a being of pure darkness and clash them together as a way to make the basically the X blade, the ultimate keyblade, which is the true key to open up Kingdom Hearts and control it. He wants control of Kingdom Hearts so that he can essentially recreate the world in. Not his own image, but in a sense that, may, in a way that makes sense to him. He he went out and he he traveled. He learned to get out from worlds. He, he traveled from the Destiny Islands. Uh, somewhere in between, then he learned how to wield the Keyblade. So he had a master, but I don't know who that master is. I believe that master was King Mickey, uh, which means that King Mickey is actually like the. He's he's not necessarily a bad guy. Well, no, he is. Uh, because the well, you remember the when, because if you look at the prequel, right, the prequel of Kingdom Hearts 1, Mickey was not a master during that time. Mickey so, became so a master insane. after the prequel. So I, well, yeah, yeah, I guess, but, because he's training under, he's training under Master Sid. You, when you encourage him in the prequel, well, the blue guy's a master, Master Sid. He's not a Keyblade Master. He is not a Keyblade Master. You didn't see it? The guy from Fantasia? Let me see here. There were two masters. Uh, you had the original master of master, trained everybody else. Uh, and then you had Xehanort was a master, and he had a friend named Eric. Yeah, is a powerful sorcerer who made the Disney debut in Fantasia. appears in Kingdom Hearts 2, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Renowned for his wisdom, commander with arts and magic, though he is no longer an active Keyblade master. I don't think he was ever. An he was once Mickey's Mouse's master. That's what they say. Sounds like bullshit to me. Because if you actually read the overall but story, that's of that, that's I, I remember that from the prequel and stuff. That's canon. But no, Yen Sid was a friend of Ericus. Ericus was the actual Keyblade master. Ericus was the one who taught. There was an actual world. There was a world inside of the Kingdom Hearts game where you play and Mickey is still in training and you help him out. But he says, he even says, I'm an apprentice to master. He's teaching me the arts of the Keyblade Master. Yen Sid didn't know that much. I don't think that he knew enough to actually be considered a master. Okay. He, he was never actually taught. I'm just saying, read the read the backstory. Like read the story. I, the story, I, the story, I played story. the game and it's it's canon. I don't I don't know what else to say. All of this is canon, but if you, you gotta look at where some of the shit doesn't make sense, if you read about it, 
Nowhere in there does it mention where Yin Sid becomes the Keyblade Master. It's potentially that he learned from Ericus, maybe because they were friends. But I mean, you can um, go to the Phantom, you can go to Wikipedia, you can go all the different sites and right. all the people log all the stuff. But you still have to do some thinking for yourself, Debo. Okay. Like, we still have to put this together ourselves. Like, when you go and you actually read what I've recently read about it, uh, Yen Sid was a friend of Ericus. So who would teach him? You're Ericus, right? He had to learn. He was that, if, if they have to explain, so like, who Lord. taught Master Sid and stuff, that might come in three, like right. you said. Right, exactly. So but King Mickey, in one of the actual oh. games, said himself, in one of the games that I played, said that he was training under Master Sid. As a key, uh, to become a master, to become a Keyblade master. And that's actually in the game. You also have to keep in mind that uh, Mickey Mouse is potentially evil, so he could be lying. I, I suppose, but he was on the same screen, and Master Sid said as well, like, he's training under me. Hey, you are too many being on it. I'm just saying, though, like, we don't know who the overall bad guy is. It makes sense to me that I don't know if there's people allowed square to do that, but that would likely be, uh, it's either going to be Mickey Mouse or possibly even Ian Sid. Or it could be somebody that we don't even know about. Because the identity of the Master of Masters, Masters which is this guy who basically made all of this shit happen. He supposedly knew about this prophecy. He gave me like some pages out of a book of prophecies um, to his five. Well, he had six apprentices, but he gave that to five of them. The sixth one he told the truth to, and he gave the sixth one a mission. The sixth is a guy named Luxu, uh, and this was in Kingdom Hearts X, the, the uh, what, what we consider the prequel. Um, but there's something even before that, and that's the the, the overall story and all that shit. Or not. But um, Luxu was tasked with actually making sure the key play for The key play for is. Uh, it was a war fought over who would get the X Blade and who would get access to King Hearts. Uh, and so Xehanort's overall goal is to make sure that the second key play will happen. And it will. Uh, that's that's pretty much inevitable at this point. Because uh, when you clash the seven guardians of light or whatever, uh, which is like, I'm assuming Sora, Riku, possibly Roxas, but I don't know how that works since Roxas and Sora are basically the same fucking person. Um, well, Axel, he's a Keyblade wielder as well. Potentially Kyrie also. Um, not sure how many of them, but there's seven of them. Uh, and then there's 13 uh, wielders of darkness, which is likely the 13 copies of Xehanort himself, because that's what he's doing. Uh, I think in this game, in Afrit, he's basically trying to gather an army of clones, I guess. Not really even clones. That was his first goal. That's what he was trying to do with the original Organization 13. Uh, but only two of them ended up being suitable candidates uh, as far as vessels for his essence. Um, they failed, though, so we went to make another one. Uh, another organization, but consisting of basically copies of himself or versions of himself throughout space and time. So, Xehanort is the ultimate bad guy that we know of, but I think that there's somebody behind him that put all of this shit in motion. Well, we know that there's somebody that put all this shit in motion. He's not directly leading uh, Xehanort. But he made sure, he knew about the prophecy, and he made sure that the prophecy happens. Now, if they do some sort of ass pull and say that the Master of Masters is also Xehanort, that's not going to make any sense, and that's going to make the whole shit just completely a clusterfuck, because that would mean that Xehanort went back in time and taught himself and all these other individuals, uh, <laughs> and it, it, it just, yeah, it wouldn't make any fucking sense at all beyond that. Ooh, a dragon. Oh, no, T-Rex. Oh, I can't make that nigga. Epic Fantasy. Oh, fuck that. be prizes tied in I can make the bear, nigga. Uh, what should I make the oh. I want a 
gonna make the fucking. I can't make the fucking elephant and all the cool shit. I, make. I guess I'll make the big ass bear. Fragmentary pass. So ties on the King Watch 3. Uses tech from 3, set immediately after. Distance. That is so weird. Like, I. <laughs> wow, I'm so fucking confused. Uh, it says, uh, Fragmentary Passage is a new short episode taking place after the events of the original Birth by Sleep told from the perspective of the a Fragmentary Passage, which ties into KH3 and uses technology from 3 is set immediately after Dream Drop Distance, when King Mickey reveals that he has a few secrets to confess related to Aqua and her time in the realm of darkness. The story then picks up immediately after the secret ending of Birth by Sleep Final Mix lasts for the length of one world from the series. Uh, content features a world based on Cinderella, uh, double flight, uh, ability returns, allows Aqua to leap higher, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so yeah, very, very odd. Very odd. So I gotta perform a link with the bat and he'll be done. And now I got my new friend, uh, the seahorse. I ain't your friend, buddy. Well, you're my friend. <laughs> you got a sub icon. Fuck. Exposed. Fucking exposed. Stay good. Uh... I think that's it. Yeah, okay, so I got my new crew. I'm to make it the ultimate crown again. That's two years. MYC will get it yeah. next month, and Biggs and uh, Crimson Knight have it already. There's some, I think, one more other yeah. person. I think Drell has it as well, too. So I need two more links with the bat to open up the rest of his shit. Oh, and some more points. Oh, never mind. I got a lot with this motherfucker. He needs a lot more points. So yeah, I gotta keep the zoo bat looking nigga out. I should call him Tutti Fruity. He looks like a some type of fruit. I don't like counterattacks, man. I hate them. Do three successful counterattacks. You know, what? fuck you and your counterattacks, nigga. I just want to fight shit. See, this is weird. It does say that. It is. I can find anything yeah. anywhere else that's Keyblade Master, but this says he's a retired Keyblade Master. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even remember that because, like I said, when he was, like, in one of the games I play, I forget what it was, you go in that pass, right? And I think it's the World of Fantasia, if I'm correct, and when Mickey's with the brooms and stuff, that's when he's in training to become a Keyblade Master during that point. And then he thinks he can do all this crazy shit, and then, like, all the things start getting fucked up, and then you fight the world, the, that guy from Fantasia, like, that big demon at the top or whatever. Cause he, the one cause, thing about it, though, it's very odd, uh... Because they don't make mention, at least when you start reading about Xehanort, uh, they don't they don't make mention. They know they they say that Yen Sid is around, but they don't mention him as a time. But I guess he could have potentially been training Mickey around the same time that Xehanort was training Benji, and um, Ericus was training uh, Terra and Aqua. Now I don't know how Master Sid applies to when they were getting when they had Xehanort around and the other things. Because they were all friends and and stuff, but uh, I know Mickey was getting it in. I think it was around Kingdom Hearts two when that happened. It was like I think it was. I don't think it was one. I'm pretty sure it was two. I'd have to go back and play. Mickey's been getting his training since since like um, he was he has been trained around the same. No, I'm just talking about that in Kingdom Hearts two is where the level actually took place because. The concept of time, it's like, he, you went into a past King I Mickey. I remember, yeah, or where, where there was a, um, where you were, where there was Yen Sid's tower. Yeah, like in this I one, what you're talking about. like the Musketeer, like the level I'm in, like he's in the past, not before he became King Mickey, but I don't know if this past is before or after he became Master, because he waited till Gone when Goofy walked away and says, yeah, I know what it is, I'm saying that, I know, uh, I'm here on a mission, basically, I know you came from another world. Mickey's been uh, traveling around for a minute. This, there's levels to this shit. Like he, like I said, it, they they really need to have a solid 
60 hours, close up everything with Kingdom Hearts. I'll happily pay $120. Just please don't fuck it up. But uh, I don't know anymore. They did that, like I used to love Assassin's Creed and they just lost their fucking minds. It'd be an interesting way that I mean you could approach it with Mickey, like you find the like you go you do something crazy, then you go to this room and you find like the nobody version of King Mickey you're actually sleeping, and you're like, who the fuck is this? And then all the whole time, like you said, it's like you know, King Mickey's nobody that you find, and then the other one's the dark version or the heartless version. I guess that's yeah, I guess that's potentially one way to spin it so that you don't necessarily make Mickey himself a bad guy, but that even he would succumb to darkness. He had darkness in his heart, and uh, it sort of uh, materialized as a heartless. And, and since he was a powerful person, uh, also a nobody was created at the same time. And mm. then the nobody would be the one that would be controlling the heartless, and the nobody would be the one that's pulling the strings behind Sora, the scene. But even at Princess the time, that would mean that safe. Mickey we couldn't have done it without would you. have to have sure. the ability to actually Happy go to back in time, which exists. <sighs> Uh, oh gosh, time travel, no! Time travel already exists. Uh, no one's really oh, harshly a pair with time travel. Yeah, when you see Jimmy Cricket, a nigga sitting on your right. shoulder, and you look at Jimmy, he's like, yeah, that's that's my past self, don't worry about that. Uh, really, Jimmy, this is your past self, huh? So this motherfucker don't remember me, so I'm just gonna write a book. I'm gonna get a coffee. Just, just save the world, Sora. Oh, you've got an idea? And it might even be a good one, too. Hold on. Sure. Take your time. They had a picture of a lady who was, like, leading her kid over, like, the roller cage at the zoo. And, like, where Harambe used to be. And, like, already people are bringing offerings to Harambe spirit or some shit. People don't seem to learn, man. Hell do I do? I miss Goofy and Donald, man. In my party, Donald was beautiful because like you'd be sitting there like there's a bunch of enemies on the screen and all, and once in a while Donald just pop off everything dies. You're like yeah, and then Goofy had that ability where he did the rocketing around like yo we kill. I remember I did that once dog killed the boss. I was like I don't know what just happened but that was fucking amazing. Like it just popped the fuck off. Yeah. So potentially Mickey Mouse is also a master. Ooh. Do you see to that? To take some fucking exam, hmm? the market master. What's up? Hey, you! Not so fast! Goofy, where are you going? And that's how, that's matter, how you Sora? become. Hold on! Uh, a keyblade oh, master. Mickey, Goofy just <laughs> sort of took off. Goofy's gone? But why would he leave his post? <laughs> it's really fucking weird, guys? though, man. Um. Yeah, because man. even here it says they don't, there's, there's, like, there's not a lot known about Yin Sid's time Calm as down, keeper. Donald. Start from the beginning. Uh, apparently he did reach the status of it, but again, it, it, it begs the question, who trained him? What? But Where did he learn from? Who, made us who did he take the test from? Uh, but I guess, like, did he train at the same time as Xehanort and... Why are no lie? I'm pretty sure when he was, I, I, I'm assuming, I don't know 100%, but I'm assuming Mickey was training for it after the, all the events of the prequel or whatever. Mickey was training yeah. around the same, according to this, We're he was this training together. around the same. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. What's his name? But I mean, because it had to happen before Kingdom Hearts 1, because King Mickey was a master at that point. Well, yeah, all of this, uh, all of this happened before Kingdom Hearts 1. Because then... It builds weird because you're in Kingdom Hearts 2 and then you, you're you dealing with the Mickey from before Kingdom Hearts 1. <laughs> Fucking time travel, man. But, like, who, who trained the Sid? I mean, we still. That's, that's, that's what I mean. This is the big question. Yeah. Who trained these guys? Like, there might, like you so said, there might be a guy in 3 who explains everything. And I wonder what he's up to. There, there has to be. Yeah. Like Somebody so has to. We, we eventually yeah. have to know. What am uh, I up to? Because we know that there's more behind it I than just Xehanort. We know that there's somebody who predicted oh, these geez. things and who also put things Who's in motion that? to ensure that they would happen. <laughs> so I don't know if it's so much a as a prediction as like you to wanted to make some shit up and then you did some you things to make sure that this would come and pass. Um, so ultimately, because we know who trained, you know, Terra Aqua Ventus. Captain Mickey, Pete, you know, by the power of Bessie, he is a musketeer. I know Bessie, Mr. Xehanort. 
if these are not necessarily the first masters, because apparently there were a lot of masters around the time of the Keyblade War. Right. The power there were shit tons of masters, but who the fuck did niggas just pick up? Because uh, Xandor's story says that he just he somehow learned how to wield the Keyblade. Like he left his world uh, and was trained in uh, in the use of Keyblades, but it doesn't Donald. say he trained him. Goofy. So I Where's think it, it's still, like you said, it comes down to King Captain Wars 3, but it's still guys took Mickey to Mont St. Michel. And that means he's a big think maybe trouble. Whoever the fuck trains Xehanort gets the dungeon will fill up with water. Being the king of everything. Well, come on. We or they go just could it. end up leaving it as bullshit. What are you saying? Well, they have the potential to end the you game up and close off. I mean, if they close all the the loops and all the. Dots, cross the T's and dot the I's. They had the potential to do friends something great, but yeah, I, I you know, think that I just hope they don't fuck it up. But we have to wait and see. I think the Best identity of, of that, that ultimate in. master Good. is, is let's is, go. Uh, Why? That's the key to bringing everything together. Because depending on who they reveal that person to be, um, the story, like you said, could could turn out to be just an absolute genius, or it could turn out to be absolute bullshit. <laughs> So basically, we need to we need the series to end at this point uh, before we can have a full, full, full understanding. But what we do know so far is that there were three masters. At well, the you know what they're going to do is at the end of three, they're going to basically be like, all right, this is where it's all going to final close out. We found out there's an infinite world of infinite keyblades, and we need to seek power. They're going through thirty more different worlds, broken up into four more games. <laughs> Because remember with Assassin's Creed, right? It came with three, they said, or the, actually the final one when you... It was Assassin's Creed 1, Assassin's Creed 2, Assassin's Creed Revelations, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, Brotherhood then Revelations, right? So Assassin's Creed had three iterations, if I'm not incorrect. Then the next one after that was the one with the Native American, right? And that was getting kind of closer to the current time, we're all excited. And then at the end of that one, right, you figure, okay, the next one's going to be in modern times, right? Because this is around the, you know, the, the American, you know, revolution. They said, no, we figured out a way to go into the Assassin's Dream without using the Ancestor. So then it's like, well, okay, now you niggas can just go and back in time how many times now? And it's been in limbo. They're just milking the shit. They never finished the story. So. Now, uh, according to this, now, I don't know if they'll stick to it. This, this, all of these games that we've got so far yes. is apparently only one part of the Kingdom Hearts saga. So... Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to end this particular saga. And what's funny, Debo, it's, it's supposed to continue, just like you said. <laughs> so there, if they stick by it, there will be more Kingdom Hearts after 3. I think that's perfectly but fine, but just close up, it, close it, it all sore. up. Yeah, yeah exactly. If they have a new character, and, and then they close it out, and then maybe in the next game, like, the world is broken, and Sora's, like, teaching people, or Riku, and then it carries on, that's fine. But it, like... I hope they just end it the right way, man, because a lot of games don't do that anymore, <laughs> dog. Uh, we just spoke it into existence. I don't want to late now. Nah, man, this this has been a thing, because he actually did an interview where, back in 2015. So we, we didn't speak shit. You know, at time. least, like, Hideo Kojima, you know, he made, what was it? He made the first two Metal Gears, and they had the big one that really launched it with the ones that was on PlayStation, Metal Gear 1, and then on PlayStation 2, Metal Gear 2. Then he made Snake Eater, which is a prequel to everything, and then he said he wanted to end it at four. He just wanted to end it, and he. But people wrote him death threats. Konami was mad. I respect him for wanting. People wrote him death threats. Like he wanted to end that series, and he wanted you know to move on. He, he should have went on the killing spree. And that's why he. Ma well, that's why he made Snake old. He said, you know what, Snake is old. You know, it's over. But these motherfuckers just the money, man. Keyblade Wilder under an unnamed Keyblade Master and Apprentice Ericus. Xeno and Ericus eventually come to see each other as brothers, but that see this is what why it confused me about Yen. Yen Sid is only at least in this story mentioned as a friend of Ericus, so apparently he didn't train together with him, so maybe he was trained by another master or a different master. I'll say this, I like the combat. I mean, I'll buy Kingdom Hearts games forever as long as the combat remains the same. I'm... No, it's a, it's a good series, but here's the thing, right? The fact that it gets us even talking and having these discussions about it 
I feel like the story has some really good moments to it. It is a bit convoluted, but it's not so fucked up as Final Fantasy 15 because one, the story's not complete. And Final uh, Fantasy 15 doesn't link to they're all separate and independent stories right. or whatever. So when we compare so it to other ones, it's like, way. hey, y'all fucked up. Ten was yeah. good. And I, 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 all of them were pretty much solid. Even thirteen had a beginning, middle, and an end. And then after that, they did lightning returns and all the other shit. It just, it wasn't needed. Just like ten two wasn't needed. But okay, y'all put in the HD remix and the game, the gameplay still good, you know. But it's just. I don't normally use the pole dancing, but uh, when I see a chance to, I do. Hey man, it does a lot of damage. The regular combo one is like when you hit circle, and you hit square towards a wall, it ricochets you off of it, and then you hit X. Or you don't even have to hit circle sometimes, you can just hit a wall with square, and then you hit X, and it does like this drill attack which homes on the enemy, and then it follows up with AoE attack, and then you bust through all your command skills, and then you just keep bouncing off the wall until your command skills come off cooldown. Because I guess that's how they handle mana. You know, you just, okay, well, we don't have mana like the other Kingdom Hearts, so we're just going to make it so that we put all your spells on cooldown outside of items. And it's like, okay. But like I said, man, I'm just happy the game runs well, runs clean, no glitches, and uh, it's pretty on point. That's, that's all I can hope for, I guess. Yeah, they don't even discuss the incense. So why exactly did the incense choose to keep like Because I don't know if everybody participated in the keep like wars at the time, but a lot of motherfuckers did. Oh, oh, it's magic, you know. Some, something, not so. It's magic. Take <laughs> At least the gameplay's great. Oh, man. I think it's an interesting story, though. Uh, like I said, yeah, oh, yeah, 10 2 was fine. The thing I didn't like about 10 2, the storyline for 10 2 was fine. Because it showed, it was showing the aftermath of what happened in 10, because they had to get on and. People were conflicted going back to the teachings that there were a lot of events, but when they brought back Ty Titus at the end, and Walker's like, get a room, you two, and Lou's holding the fucking baby that has a Walker hair. I'm like, I thought you like T-Poo, you, you fucking bitch. You went back and got digged down by his brother. I was very upset. I was basically, yeah, I bet, I, there is some, ah, uh, that's, yes, keeping a family is good, Savings, but sometimes... See, this is weird. Friendship portal. While these spirits, the spirit will return home. At a certain amount of time, that's it. Like, why am I borrowing these? Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll borrow. I don't understand why I'm borrowing these motherfuckers. Like, then then they take them away, and then I'm saying. Like, I would love to have that huge ass T Rex fighting with me, but he costs too damn much. He's expensive as shit. Look, he's doing a flip. He's flipping with his tail. Well, I'm stuck with Herp the Dirt, but I can't hate on Herp the Dirt. Herp the Dirt, me and him, we saw some shit together, man. He... Okay, now I'm riding a lion. Okay. I do like the movement in this game, even though it's kind of weird. I don't, I don't know if they should have had it, but once you get used to moving around and bounce around, it is you can't get around pretty fast, which is pretty cool. This game is going to be hell for speedrunners in the sense that it's not going to. I mean, knowledge of the game and combat sense is going to help, but like you're going to really have to know because anybody who knows the movement. If I can bounce off walls and effectively move through the environment fast, that's gonna reduce a lot of time. Oh. Yeah. 
Okay, can I hit this? But it will be nice once it makes the next Kingdom Hearts, I'll have it on all platforms. I do not want to get a PS3 or another one or whatever. And oh yeah, uh, 1.5, 2.5 is going to be only, good. I think, what, 40 bucks? Something like that. Oh, uh, yeah, like, it was 49.99 from... Not sure if it's going to be that same price in stores, but I mean, the, the overall value of that collection, that's a great fucking price for it. There's four fully fleshed out games. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 1 final mix, uh, Chain of Memories final mix, or re Chain of Memories, same fucking thing I guess. Kingdom Hearts 2 final mix, and what was the other one? Where's my sleep final mix? Yeah, so you better play 1, uh, I'm sorry, the prequel, 1, 1. 1.5, and 2. Yeah, so you gotta play what, Where's my sleep first, and then go into Kingdom Hearts 1. No, I, I think you can play them however you want, but yeah, but by order, he's Birth by Sleep, then you play 1. Then you play 1.5, yeah, then they're you they're play chain, 2, and then if and then if you got the 2.8, then you just go right back and go into 2.5, which is the one I'm playing right now, you know? Yeah. I wonder if they'll have a special dish or something. Yeah. Free. Doubt it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. Yeah. They had a little bit of but it's like, that's just from... I got a fancy pin. Land 10 attacks while linked. Okay. I don't think I have any links though. Fly by night, yeah, dude. Let's go! Kingdom Hearts! <laughs> I did it. Oh man, it's gonna be great though. I I will uh Yeah, yeah. It will be nice. Uh, yeah. Yeah, hey, yeah. Come to an end. Yeah, yeah. Uh, whether or not I yeah, want, yeah. I wouldn't mind the Kingdom Hearts. Like, yeah. the series itself continues to be a little later. Uh, so, Square Grid as another hey, yeah. Kingdom Hearts, like, another Final Fantasy, you know what I'm saying? Like, another series that they can sort of drive forever through partnership with Disney and shit like that. Watch they force uh, Kingdom Hearts on new Nintendo systems. JC Monkey, I love you, buddy. If they do that, I'm going to come and hunt you down because you just spoke some really. <laughs> You spoke the most twisted shit nah, of existence. I think Square. Um, oh, if they did that, that, that would piss that. off so many people, and they would hurt themselves on on consoles. Though. Wait, that would even if then, like they they wouldn't. Um, yeah. First of all, Square doesn't have a great relationship with Nintendo. Um, this goes all the way back to Final Fantasy VII, right? Because uh, they did yeah, Super Mario with the RPG disc and shit. And, 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 but I think Super Mario RPG was one of the last things they did. For Nintendo, um, before, uh, you know, Nintendo, they couldn't come to agreement on the money, that was, that was pretty much what the main dispute was, there was a, there was obviously the hardware limitations, you know what I'm saying, of a cartridge-based system where everybody else was moving towards discs, um, but Square asked, I guess, for a bigger portion, uh, of profits, and Nintendo didn't want to meet those demands, and so, uh, Square chose to take their business to Sony, and um, Nintendo, Nintendo did not have a Square property until did they was it was it GameCube or was it like Game Boy Advance? Not because they had Final Fantasy, they had Tactics Advance on GBA, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it was on GBA. There was anything else? So, um, but it took them a while uh, for for uh, Square to release anything on a Nintendo. Con even if they did release uh, Kingdom Hearts 3, um, even if they did release uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 on the Switch, uh, it wouldn't be an exclusive. It's already been promised for PS4 and Xbox One, so, uh, and nobody's going to buy a Switch to play Kingdom Hearts 3. There may be, I, I won't say nobody, because uh, th there's a lot of uh, really stupid people out there that do, do shit that doesn't make any sense. Um, uh, 
you know, maybe maybe it's like, well, I'm gonna get a Switch, Nintendo favorite system. I can play Zelda and I can play Kingdom Hearts 3. All right, I'm not petting this bear no more. This thing just turned around and twerked on me. I'm good. I gotta draw the line somewhere, Savis. Oh, you saw it, huh? Yeah, you thought it was so Yes, I can't do it no more. Big ass bear, but. Apparently, he tosses enemies in the other one, so I guess that's pretty cool. For 15? Oh, yeah, I didn't bother with that. I don't really see a point to it. Yeah, somebody else went. They, they went and did that. So that was a man. Ah, you got the shirts and shit. It's a little fashion. You want to watch out? That's about it. Yeah. As far as combat. At this point, that particular thing is not enough to, to draw me back to Final Fantasy XIV. Until they release some real content for it, which I guess since I don't have a season pass, I won't really get this anyway. Um, so. The zig bar, the sniper survived, huh? Is he dead? Okay, he's dead now. Great. Yeah! Back off! Yeah! Back off! Fire! Freeze! Here! This motherfucker doesn't stop spraying water at me. Big ass elephant. So how the fuck you get up there, you big ass elephant? Oh, that was the whole fight. Okay, that was an actual serious fight. Well, yeah, okay, whatever. Give me some stats and shit. <laughs> Finally done with calculus homework. Yeah, calculus sucks balls, but I mean it's necessary depending on what major you're going to. But I didn't calculus. like something. If you're going down to this angle, is this degree at this time of day, and it has a current descent rate of, you know what, you already lost me. Just, just fail me now. I actually got a B in that. I was okay with that. But I, I said to myself, I never went to college, so I think it was a waste. I should have just had easier classes. Would you like to climb down the sewer? Yeah, sure, why not? I'm a little, you know, 14-year-old kid. I don't got no fucking parents. That's all good. Oh, Mickey's drowning. Trickies, Mickey's collapse now. It's really weird that that's actually a thing. Uh, it's. I wonder if it's. I, I don't know if it's culture. Uh, I suppose it is. Uh, the West Mickey? likes to paint you like our saw? superheroes and things like that are always adults, sort of muscular men and whatnot. Where it's um, Japan, both in anime oh, and because the it's gonna have younger protagonists like you kids, are, well, you know the kids, you know they go to school, they become a superhero not. part time, and once they hit that point in life, they stop what they're doing, go to college, and become adults, and then they <laughs> they lead a normal life. Inside of you. You think that means that Japan uh, believes in the children more than we? You know what? Uh, You're right, pal. I would say, I mean, I know they're not reproducing at a higher rate, together, but I think they evolved to the next level because the Japanese men were like, well, we're sick of your shit, and I'll just get a fucking he said he was robot or a pillow or a DS game girlfriend and taste my own shit. <laughs> I'm not gonna. Basically, Japanese dude said, look, I can get pussy from a robot. Uh, I don't want to deal with all your shit because I'm sick. I, he's like, see, they want. Because one guy was like, they want me to go to college, go to school, do all this, 14, 16 hours a day, come home, be the father, and do this while she sits at home and breathes the benefits. He said, nah, fuck that. I'd rather be by myself. And one, he kind of basically said, not all women are like that, but he just said, look, man, I ain't killing myself. He's like, no, I see my father did it. I'm not doing it. And I was like, yeah, okay, that makes sense to me. I'm a real boy. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm borderline sick of Pinocchio. I do like Monstro. He's a very efficient whale. He eats the shit out of Pinocchio and a bunch of other motherfuckers. A whale's fine with me. 
because uh, you gotta respect artistry, you know, that thing has a whole entire world slash level inside of him, it's not his fault for him having to deal with some stupid ass fucking wooden boy and Geppetto always getting trapped inside of him, you know, that, that whale has to be tired of eating him, right, like, oh uh, look, uh, Monstro, it's like, oh, it's Geppetto and Pinocchio again, I really wish I had something different to eat, right, like, my fucking whale has to be tired of them. Like, them niggas get me indigested. And you know what's fucked up, too? They got so comfortable inside the whale, Geppetto's sitting by a bed in the hey, kitchen and food and just chilling like... Boy, <laughs> the boss is gonna be mad. Hey, man. Uh, you gotta accept your lot in Princess! Hey, he's sitting there. He's in his underwear. He looks all weird, right? You want some eggs? He scoops up some sulfuric acid from his stomach to cook the egg and put the pan on. Yeah, this is the way I like my eggs. Nigga, how long have you... <laughs> Pass me the bologna. Oh, this nigga make a fried bologna? Shut the fuck up, nigga. This nigga make a delicious fried bologna sandwich. Yeah. Fucking well, monster be like, I want one of them two. Just put it in my juices. Ah, yeah, that's delicious. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. too much cheese to make a cholesterol. Hey, Hmm, got a royal cake. Don't know what that's used for. It's probably for making a pet or something. Who said that? 50 Tyson. <laughs> 50 Who's 50 Tyson? Oh, tights? man. I ain't gonna lie, man. I... So you remember oh, that yeah. video, dog? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's very sad. I remember that shit now. Oh, yeah, he's kind of true, right? Yeah, but you can actually understand. Yeah, that's true. I just thought that, that there was something wrong with it. Hey, Big Sean got a new number one song out here, at least in Vegas. Uh, that new song may... At first I thought he was mumble rapping, but then he actually started rapping. I was like, oh, okay. It had like the same, like, you know, kids like, well, I don't really care about the mumble rapping. This makes me want to get turned up and lit. I'm like, well, here's a song that makes you want to get turned up and lit. Yes, you can fucking understand it. Turn up and light it on fire. Hey, man, that might be the new thing. But I, don't know. I don't know no more. Turn down, I'm fucking to the ground. Uh, in recent news, uh, Party goers have been uh, burning clubs down, literally. <laughs> Every night this week, there's a nightclub down. Uh, been set on fire by people inside. Hey, real grimy insurance salesman. <laughs> I've been loving this. And the insurance rate for fire rates has been going up fantastic. I mean, uh, allegedly, alleged fires. <laughs> I'm only believed to be uh, affiliated with a new term that has uh, uh, 
recently <laughs> appeared in the, in the, uh, uh, the Teenage Party Gonk. Hey, they have to start recounting, brothers. Like, so tell us what happened. See, what happened was... You know, dude, they went from there. being lit to lighting things And that's the fire. word that he used, right? And every time somebody uses that word, just shit goes crazy. Somebody Ooh. said it was lit, and someone else said, no, it's not. Then he brought out some sort of fluid, set it on fire, and said, now it's lit. And that just led to everybody else to start fighting, lighting fires on the club burn down. It was lit. So, yeah, man, it's great. Uh, I don't have my club no more, but uh, I had one of the greatest parties ever. <laughs> it, was truly, it was truly lit. It was a five alarm blaze. Yes. Uh, uh. The fire department did not even put it out. It just burned all the way to the ground. Well, what are you going to do now? Uh, what? I don't. I think I'm just retired uh, because I go out as one of the best uh, party promoters in the history of all party them. <laughs> because... Until a nigga up like one up, so then he gets his shit burned up before the party even starts. Before even it start, my shit all got burnt. Damn. Yeah, Motherfuckers be like, nah, nigga, fuck this. These, these niggas out here talking about they lit. Nah, nigga, we ain't lit no more. Hey, when you Florida actually... people gonna do something, man? I mean, y'all need to come up some crazy. Florida's crazy. Y'all can do some really off the wall shit. Hey, they actually yeah, dropping yeah. bombs on their clubs and shit. Yeah, my one is a bomb. That motherfucker literally exploded, nigga. About 300 people died. Yeah. Talk about lit, nigga. Fuck that shit. No fire can't do nothing, nigga. My shit exploded. They start outlawing party and shit. They diss each other. Yeah. Hey, man, they just want to party all the time. Yeah. Party all the time. Is it, is it like a meeting of the minds of the get together? Kings and stuff. Brazil. 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 And get money. That's all you can do, right? Yeah, I'm gonna get pockets so I can eat all these people. I'm gonna fuck them all. This is cool. <laughs> yeah. You were kind of wack, but hey, fuck you up. Gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta do what you gotta do. Podcast. Like, well, today this is, uh, Superwoman. <laughs> she came here a jig podcast. is up, Pete! Well, well, well. Yeah, it's three against one now! <laughs> hey, man. King Pete got a crown on. Nigga looks luxurious as shit. Nigga got that fancy that silk shirt on. What the? Well, this world. You know, he's always trying to be king and shit. Huh? But he was like, he should be king. What? This looks like a play. Riku. Are they in a playhouse? Yeah, the three musketeers were in us. the opera. He's been by our side. All right. Musketeers, get the fuck, princess man. to safety. I'll handle things here. Right. Thanks, Sora. Why you? How dare you put me in the nick of time? This don't add up, I tell you. Hey, over here, boys. He got some royal sash and fancy gloves. Oh, That's right. There goes the three nigga musketeers. They like regular musketeers, but they're niggas. <laughs> I guess these are what the Beagle Boys, but not officially the Beagle Boys. They look reminiscent of yeah. the Beagle Boys. Oh, uh... <laughs> They look like they ain't been outside in a while, man. Hell the fuck. I'm just here so I don't get fired. Hey, yeah, get the little nigga first, Debo. He's the most dangerous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, you should never buy a guy with half a century. Unless it was non-consensual. Then you have my permission to jab a knife in this throat. 
Ah, oh, they could do that, JC Monkey. You never know. Believe me, I, they still have a chance to fuck over this whole series. Respected as a motherfucking player. Oh, okay. Perform actions as they appear. I don't, I don't understand. Left, right, uh, up, down. Uh, yeah. Wait, wait. I don't Damn. understand. What the hell is that? What the fuck? Yeah, dude, quick while. Wow, this is not loud. Bro, what's that? Like, oh, okay. Is it oh, left, up? right, or right, left, down, down? Oh, oh I okay. I performed up. Yeah. Hard. That was weird as shit. Back off. Yeah. Yeah. Sit your ass right there. Oh, this shit is weird. Okay, <laughs> down, down. Take a picture with him, boom. Got him! Put his ass in the peat. Uh, hit him in the balls. Maybe I have to use the D-pad. Oh, with the analogs, the left stick and the right stick. Okay, that makes sense. Kind of weird, but okay. I just said use the analog sticks. Yeah. It's weird that you have to... Oh, Pete got a lot of HP. Maybe he's about to bounce. Oh, he got hit with that. That's what happened. I don't think you would have to play the game. There's always YouTube. Swing fling! Here I go! How much damage you gonna do? That did absolutely nothing. Oh, yeah, five days. They got little HP. That's pretty hard, Jack. Say what? Uh, good and uh, probably the same piece of my entertainment. It does look really good, but you never know. I will. I'll copy the uh, copy horizon. Oh, I see. Now, okay, yeah, okay, the, the bears and shit. He's just spinning me around like some kind of thuggish, like, brute. <laughs> yeah, nigga, I'm gonna use you as actual motherfucker to get shit done. I don't understand this one. What's this one? Uh, Swing flame. Yeah, because I was canceled. Do, 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 do. Hey, hey, can you imagine if you had a skinny friend, like, if you went random right and you just pick random up by his legs and swing around, he starts hitting people. <laughs> random, what the fuck? You stick out your fist, nigga. It's a combo attack. It's a combo attack. The fuck? He <laughs> just he picks up Sora and Sora holds out his key. He, the bear just swings him around and at the end of it, he just throws him and does more damage. It's just silly, but it makes sense. Are you playing on normal or proud mode? Normal than I play proud mode because I would play it on pro I would play it on proud mode if it was a traditional um, Kingdom Hearts. But when they had like the pets and shit and all that stuff, it's like, well, I gotta play through it normally. Because on Kingdom Hearts 1, put it on hard mode. Kingdom Hearts 1, play on hard mode. But that was still kind of the same. But Kingdom Hearts 2 and Kingdom Hearts 1, I just played it on hard mode right off the bat. Because on that game, it's just you have mana for your spells, right? Uh, you equip whatever spells you want. You quick all your little action and combat stuff. You had your regular attacks. Pretty straightforward stuff. You know. You heal yourself yeah. with potions, and you heal yourself with magic. Yeah, the dodge roll, you know, you equipped the dodge roll, it made sense, like you had certain accessories. I think it was just weapon and accessories, like this accessory gives more heat. It was very straightforward, but... 
And this one, like, you get all your, like, if you get extra HP from unlocking it on one of your pets, so you actually have to, everything you unlock on the board, the pets transfer over their skills and stuff to you. So then when you finish one board, or I guess you, you use certain pets that you like to get certain abilities that you like, and the really good Shoot ones are expensive as shit. Into the keyhole. I got the keys, the keys. <laughs> I just want to see you play the aqua shit. Yeah, and that's coming next. That musketeer world is actually pretty damn long, so I imagine Riku's is actually going to be very short. So now I'm switching back to Riku. Riku's a bitch, man. Fuck that nigga. Yeah, mm -hmm. Fuck Riku. He can eat a dick. I'm going to get a bowl of Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops? Wait, a bowl of Fruit Loops? Like, who the fuck? Fruit Loops come in like a sheet? Fruit Loops? Oh, Fruit Loops. I'm thinking of Fruit Roll-Ups, my bad. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck? Hey, nigga, put them in a bowl too, shit, it don't matter. I saw a video where they just basically, they had all the fruit and they compressed it and dried it out and they rolled up in the patty, like, they just rolled it up and they like, oh, okay. Fruit Roll-Ups were a bitch, though. If you're gonna roll them perfectly, it was great, because you put them on your face and you eat, cut out the, eat out the eyes and the mouth, and then you act like you had a fucked up face and you eat it all. Take that, you giant tentacle octopus. Dead or alive. VR. Your mama was a squid, you octopus. Your mama was a squid, yeah. You your daddy, son. Man, man that's like comic books and shit. That's my like big bubble eye. Yeah, I'm popping up in this bubble eye. All up in this bubble eye. Look at that. Boom, swinging. Just swinging. That looks like a Mega Man boss. From Mega Man X. Squidman. <laughs> oh shit. I am able to watch this magician's episode and Enjoy yourself, yeah, that just came out the day. Shit, I don't know if I'll be around tomorrow. You don't see you, uh, good luck. I might be, uh, I think I, I switched days, so I'm actually gonna have a problem. Uh, work Saturday instead, so this dude can go to the funeral. Oh, that's nice. Uh, so, yeah, but, uh, yeah, I, 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 I catch, like, enjoy the rest of the game, man. Kill all the squids, uh, uh, King, King Mickey, uh, is an evil person. He is the bad guy. Keep your eyes on that motherfucker, don't trust him. If they make Kim make you do that, I think that would have triggered a lot of people, but it'd be quite a very satisfying. What do you think they'd be mad? Yeah, people are like that though. Hey, it's yeah. Kingdom Hearts, nigga ain't nobody yeah. immune to the darkness. He ain't immune. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go watch bitches like that. Sora, Sora is like the, the hero in that. Yeah. That nigga was dark in the first wow. game. <laughs> That's how you got rocks. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. The boy, the super laser take. Get behind the rocks, like this is really yeah. weird. Alright, no uh. Oh, the rocks, I see. Yeah. 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 Take cover! Alright, man, don't trust him. Don't, don't trust Minnie Mouse. Yeah. So. Okay, so I get it now. And I hit the wrong button.
Thank goodness, because that fight was stupid as shit. Probably got like a C rank or something terrible. Yeah, it's terrible. I don't know, but next time I do it, I'll know. <laughs> Isn't that Pete? What kind of world did I end up in this time? Well, one thing's for sure. That guy adds up to trouble in any world. I guess he does have a dick butt.
I guess I'll just stick with the ones I know that work well. So, I guess I'll just go to Spirit or to go to Command Deck. Using strike suck. I guess we'll just replace it out for it. We'll do fire windmill and the time storm in the area. That should be fine. Alright, that'll work.
This is weird. Maybe I gotta get to the pink, the challenge for another way. Let me check over here. Because I'm trying to get to that pink challenge grip, but I guess it's just not here. Maybe I go in the back and get it. I don't know. I'm not worried about it. We'll just keep moving. Ha, ha, ha. What's all this for? Is that supposed to be Mickey and the others? Heesh. <laughs> Those three are together even when they're made out of wood. Okay, what's this challenge one? Oh, there it is. Nah, I don't want to borrow them. I'm good. One time already, right? And I lost. Well, that sucks. How much I could have done about the. Well, I guess I'm gonna try to deflect instantly, but. Eh. Someone. 
Mini. Oh, thank you for saving me. Where are you going? I have to help the musketeers. What happened? Tell me what I can do. Who are you? Riku. Mickey's my friend. Oh, Riku, the stage has been rigged with a machine to lure Mickey and the others into a terrible trap. If we could only find something to control the device from here. <gasps> <gasps> Lucky I remembered. Look what I nearly forgot. Eh? Why is the box sans mouse? Oi, quit messing around. The boss is losing his patience. Oi. There it is! That's the gadget we need to retrieve. I'm on it. Run <laughs> for Yeah. 
I like the game. It's very solid. Once you learn the new system and you learn how to use the pets and shit like that, taking care of the pets are pretty stupid, but outside of that, the system is pretty cool. So, once you get uh everything figured out and you play it, it's very enjoyable. But in the beginning, things were very confusing, maybe also a little bit overwhelming as well. Hopefully, I don't have to fight that boss right now. I get a chance to take my one item so I don't dream drop. Yeah, exactly. It's also when your dream drop gauge drops too low, you automatically switch to the other person, which is very weird. They just never want to make this easy, do they? So I don't think I'll be able to switch to my dream drop item to extend my rate before I get forced out of Riku, which is going to be very weird. Yeah. There's nothing I can do. Yeah, I'm gonna have to drop out. This fucking so stupid. I do not like that. That's the one mechanic of this game I do not like, dude. Where I ha I gotta stop, and I got fucked over because I forgot to drink the potion or increase my drop rate. That's fucking stupid as shit. Like I don't understand that. Like there's no need for that. So hopefully when I switch back to him, if I have some meter, I can kill the boss. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, it did. That's fine. But I don't get any bonuses, which is whatever. Stupid as fuck, though. Yeah. Hey. Ha. Hey. 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 
No, this is the remake of 1.5. This is Dream Drop. So this is the one that was on the DS and they remade it for the PlayStation 4. Uh, the game, they have a movie on here that takes place before Kingdom Hearts, the prequel, which is Birth by Sleep. So they have one that has a movie that takes place by, uh, before Birth by Sleep, which is the prequel of the game. And the other game on this one is the one that's based off the Kingdom Hearts 3 engine, which involves Aqua, and that takes place between the prequel and Kingdom Hearts 1. And, uh, the prequel of Kingdom Hearts 1 and also the, between this game and Kingdom Hearts 3. Kingdom Hearts 3 is not out. It's confusing as shit, but it's, once you know where it takes place, it's, you, you pretty much understand. Hey. Yeah, so the movie takes place before the prequel, which is uh, which is Birth by Sleep. After the events of Birth by Sleep, you play as Aqua, starting off, that's based on the Kingdom Hearts 3 game. Then the game, after you do that part, it jump forward, uh, it just basically launches you forward into basically controlling Aqua again, but this time it finishes up between what happens between this game, which is 2.5, which is, you know, Dream Drop, and the next Kingdom Hearts, which is not out yet. So basically the way it goes is... <laughs> you got the movie that happens before the prequel. Okay, so the movie before the prequel, whatever they call that. Then they got Birth by Sleep, which is the prequel. Then they got Aqua's game that begins right in between, you know, the prequel and Kingdom Hearts 1. Then you actually have Kingdom Hearts 1. Then you have Kingdom Hearts 1.5, which is called Chain of Memories, which bridges the game between 1 and 2. So after Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, it is Kingdom Hearts 2, right? Then after Kingdom Hearts 2, it's Dream Drop, which is the game I'm playing right now, which was released on the 3DS. And then, it, then finally, the ending, or towards the end of uh, Aqua's little game, which is about three hours, takes place right before Kingdom Hearts 3. And that's on the Kingdom Hearts 3 engine. So we're just basically waiting for Kingdom Hearts 3 to come out, basically. Okay, so we're good. Boss is pretty sure for it. How do you like that? What? Impossible. Looks like I was right in the nick of time. Sora? Oh, they're safe. Oh, thank goodness. You truly saved the day, Riku. I see you're as brave as a royal musketeer. Musketeer? What is that, anyway? Huh? They... They actually say that? Of course. Every musketeer is taught those words. It's a very important motto and solemn pledge. You're right. And it does fit the moment. <laughs> all for one, and one for all.
I sensed something was amiss nearly the moment Sora and Riku departed. Xehanort must have known what we were attempting before we even began. But you do know where they are! You must understand, this examination is in no way how the mark of mastery is usually found. However, in light of what they must do next, it was a necessity. If Sora and Riku complete their test, by finding the seven doors corresponding to the seven pure lights, they will return home with a new power. At that point, they will both be true masters. However, the dangers make this more trial than test. But are they safe right now? Considering their ability, I would like to believe that they are. However, all my attempts to locate Sora and Riku end questionably. Xehanort is a devious tactician. There is nothing we can do that he will not, to some extent, be able to predict. So? As you can see, the organization's members are complete people again. Xehanort will be no different. We cannot afford another moment's hesitation. We must consider any strategy to outwit Xehanort and catch him off guard. I must warn you again. The road will not be easy. Fine. Let's jump right in. Okay, so that's done. So we got one more world after this, and then the final world, and that should be it. Okay. Well, that's it for me tonight. Um, I need to keep my same skipping schedule. I stayed way over than what I should have did, but... I hope you guys have a good night. I'll be back on tomorrow. I'll be streaming probably by 11 o'clock, doing the last couple levels, and then after that I'll figure out how I'm going to do the guide. I think I'm just going to basically break it up between worlds and then breaking it down for a guide for how to craft monsters and stuff like that. But I will definitely see you guys later. Hope you guys have a good night. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the stream. I'll be back tomorrow. If you guys want to follow more of my stuff, check out my previous uploads on YouTube for this game. I've been uploading the walkthrough, or at least my blind playthrough on YouTube. You guys can check it out there. And uh, you can always check like previous broadca broadcasts and stuff, so you can see what's going on. And outside of that, if you want to check out our last podcast, which we do every Saturday or Sunday night at 8.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, go and check us out over there. And I think that's about it, so I hope you guys have a good night. I'm going to send you to one of my friends, KG, because he's playing some Overwatch. Take it easy.